Authorities say they don't know what they are, but there appears to be a growing problem of unidentified objects flying through the sky. All across America in 2019, civilians and military personnel were witnessing bizarre craft. In Texas, 13 reported sightings of flying disks. In Florida, 27 fireballs. 40 sightings of floating triangles over California. Ha! What the f is that, homie? But in North Carolina, there were over 50 sightings of something else. Glowing orbs. Well, howdy there, Sean. Good to see you. Oh, yeah, you too, man. What a gorgeous day. Yeah, this is beautiful, man. Lou Elizondo is meeting with a former Marine who wants to be known simply as Sean. In his over 10 years of military service, he never saw anything like what he witnessed one night off the Carolina coast. So, Sean, I know a little bit about your background, but do you mind uh, giving me just a, a brief picture of, yeah. of your life in the military? Yeah, I joined the Marines in 91. I became a reconnaissance Marine in 96. It's a uh, Marine that, that's forward observer, behind enemy lines, surveillance, information collection. In September 2019, Sean was heading home after a fishing trip. Coming in, and instead of going to the boat ramp, I just went on into Carolina Beach, uh, kind of tooling around. It was a beautiful evening. I noticed a, an orb over my head, like not directly over, but maybe 150 feet in the air, kind of following me. I was traveling about five knots. Like, oh, OK, somebody's got a drone. And the first, first thought, I was like, oh, I, I couldn't hear it. And obviously, my motor's super quiet. So if a drone was buzzing, you know, 150 feet, I'd be able to hear it. It was a, a round, circular orb. Um, reddish orange and it had a, a haze glow around it wasn't sharp edges at all man maybe five feet in diameter so it had a color to it yeah well yeah orangish red so i took note of it because you know i'm a reconnaissance marine as well so i, I stop look listen smell you know the basic instincts are you know, follow me forever i felt it was following me i was traveling about five knots 20 30 seconds yeah, that's deliberate. Yeah. I mean, usually if it's starting to go in front of you or behind you, then you, but it's, you said it matched your speed. Yeah. That thing took off faster than anything I've ever seen. And like, it, it, it traveled as fast as, you know, a trace around. That fast? Yeah. They Thousands of feet there. per second. Yeah. Even bullets, when they break the sound barrier, they had that crack, that miniature so sonic boom. No sound, yeah. That's no, what I wanted to ask you. Absolutely no sound at all. Or, or thrust. Right. Like power thrust or, or something. Sean is a trained observer. He's just wired differently. He sees this really weird, strange light. The way he described this object really fell neatly within several of those observables. Elizondo immediately recognizes two of the five observables, instantaneous acceleration and hypersonic velocity. Instantaneous acceleration, because he said within a blink of an eye, it went from a hover directly over his boat to disappearing over, over the horizon. And of course, hypersonic velocity. He, he actually used the term a tracer bullet, just taking off, but without any type of trail. I, I didn't think anything of it until it left. You know, the whole question is, what did I see? Is it possible that these things have a very rational explanation, i.e. flares? Every flare I've launched has a trail, and it left. Flares come. They don't go. You don't expect a flare to simply hover. It falls with gravity because it abides by the laws of physics. And flares don't just take off at breakneck speeds in one direction and disappear. To Elizondo, Sean's sighting is eerily familiar. <laughs> Previously, US Navy Lieutenant Ryan Graves told Elizondo he and other fighter pilots repeatedly witnessed orb-like UFOs off the East Coast in 2015. This is more like I was looking at a flashlight. So just like a singular point of higher energy. So I'm literally just seeing a flash, a constant flash, a flashlight shine out there. The biggest connection, the orb-like objects were spotted near the same waters where Sean was fishing. Here we are right off the coast of the Atlantic. And in, in 2015, the US aircraft carrier Theodore Roosevelt, there were several pilots who encountered something very, very interesting. They described these orbs, these little round things that they couldn't explain. This area is also home to some of the largest military installations in the US. Could these mysterious orbs be targeting nearby military assets? I did think it could be, you know, maybe some type of foreign government surveillance. One troubling theory 
is that these objects could be advanced Russian drones. If it's some red threat, that would be enormous. If it was uh, someone operating drones out there, that would be enormous too. A Russian spy ship known as the Viktor Leonov was patrolling international waters off the east coast of the U.S., both in 2015 and near the time of Sean's sighting. Could the Lyanov have launched such drones or be coordinating with them to spy on the U.S.? Is that something we need to be cognizant of? If, if the Russians, let's say, develop this new secret technology that they could launch a probe over our, our U.S. cities and at the drop of a hat take off at supersonic speeds without any signature, would that be something you would you would want to know that this technology exists? Oh, yeah, for sure. Everybody should understand what possible threats are out there from foreign governments. Elizondo's teammate, Chris Mellon, is concerned with the ability of a foreign power to penetrate American airspace. We're already, you know, in thin ice in terms of, of having any clear idea of what these things are, where they're from, who's operating, what their intent is. Have we been technologically leapfrogged? Could it be the Russians or someone else? In either case, they don't seem to be ours. And, and that's the uh, alarming, concerning uh, issue.